Hi, everyone. It's Todd Cohen. And as promised, I want to bring this special video to you about something near and dear to the work we're doing together. It's called the leadership moment. And I got to tell you, we got to take these moments when we see them because they may not come around again. So, you know, my three favorite words, write this down. So get ready because we're going to write some stuff down. Now, you've heard me say so far that silos are everywhere. Across all organizations, we see silos. And candidly, silos are not healthy for organizations. They keep people apart. They keep us from being the best leaders we can be. They give people an opportunity to hide. They give people an opportunity to say, hey, that's not my job or, you know what, not my problem. And while people may not say it overtly, you know, sometimes it's you know, uh, an interesting thing that we hide in silos because of lots of different reasons. And we have to bring those silos down. And one of the ways that we do that, one of the many ways we do that is to take what's called the leadership moment. In other words, coaching and leading people up to fulfill the best that they can do, be the best they can be. And oh, by the way, you become a great leader in the process. So, you know, I've said often that leadership is not about title or it's not about where you sit on the org chart. You know, title is a thing given to you, right? Leadership is not bestowed on you, right? You have to understand and believe and embrace that leadership is a mindset and a behavior. Just because you have a title, no matter where you sit in the org chart, it's still a decision, write this down, it's still a decision every day to lead, to be a leader. And candidly, it's still your decision to take those leadership moments. So what do I mean by a leadership moment? Well, you know, they're not written out there that say, hey, this is a leadership moment, you know, on somebody's forehead, or there's no ne blinking neon line that says, neon light that says, this is a leadership moment. You have to see them and you have to actually be proactive enough to do something about it. And the beauty of it is you all can do it. The only thing that inhibits or prevents us from taking the leadership moment, well, is when we're busy reacting as the day goes on. And I know how it is, right? We're busy. We're getting a lot of emails, phone calls, just a lot of people pressing on us and pulling us in a thousand different directions. And then we become extremely reactive. Well, leadership moments are about seeing an opportunity to help somebody be better, to hold somebody accountable, to help somebody see a new and better and more efficient way to do something, which, oh, by the way, makes them feel terrific. And taking that leadership moment means you have to see them and you have to be productive about it. It also means don't get frustrated if it doesn't take root after the first try. Sometimes it takes more than once. Leadership moments happen all the time. They're happening around us constantly. And I got to tell you, it takes being aware, self-aware, having some emotional intelligence, having eyes sometimes all around us, and simply being aware of what's going on with the people in our world. So taking the leadership moment means you have to be paying attention. Look, example is leadership. Albert Schweitzer said this, and really what this means is, and I think you've all heard this, lead by example. Do as I do, not, well, just do as I do. In any event, leadership means lead by example. You know, if you want somebody to do something, make sure they know that you would do it as well. Make sure that you have the same confidence in yourself to do, to lead what you're asking them to do. Leadership by example, frankly, may be the three of the most powerful words in the world of leadership development, although I'm sure people will dispute that and there's lots of other great phrases out there. Leadership by example is where we start this conversation on the leadership moment. So we've been chatting as you know, about lots of different things. What is leadership? What does leadership look like? What should it be? What's the ideal leader look like? And you know, what's amazing is <laughs> when we see the leadership moment, we get incredible bang for our buck. 
because leadership moments impact everything. You know, it impacts, of course, the people, the people that when we see that moment and we help them be better. It impacts the organization because, well, it's obvious as we help lead, as we make people better, as we coach them up, as we lead by example, as we see those opportunities to help people impact and create impact, guess what? Now it has a downstream and sometimes immediate impact on the organization. The, the link is obvious. And ultimately, this... <laughs> This has an enormous, I love that word enormous, this has an enormous impact on the client, the people who look to the organization to say, this is where I belong, this is where I want to be. It also has an enormous impact on the people looking to join the organization. You see, leadership moments are everywhere and they serve multiple purposes. It's not just us demonstrating and showing how we are great leaders and we're developing into better and better leaders every day. It's helping other people do the same by seeing that moment when you can help somebody, when you can coach somebody, when you can show somebody the way to do, be, perform better in their role. And by the way, as I said a moment ago, this really, really has a tremendously positive impact on the client and people looking to join the organization. So look, throughout your day, I know this happens because it happens in my day. It happens in everybody's day. Throughout your day, you're going to encounter these leadership moments. And these moments are a decision point for you to react and react maybe in a way that isn't leadership or not. And that's your choice to react or be ahead of it and be proactive. You see, having a leadership moment, seeing a leadership moment is a very tangible, finite experience. It's not gray and fuzzy and in the ozone. It's right in front of you. You see somebody about to do something. You see somebody struggling with a problem. You see somebody who you've now given responsibility to, and they're wondering, where do I start? You see, part of seeing the leadership moment is not only being proactive, write this down, it's anticipating what the reaction might be and being ready to work with that person because you're ahead of everything that's going on. You see, that's the leadership moment. So let me continue on this definition of, of the leadership moment and, and give you some give you some additional thoughts on it because these are ways that you're going to spot and see and identify the leadership moment throughout your day. It's seeing opportunity to help somebody and taking it. In other words, it's seeing it, speaking up and doing something about it. That is a leader. A leader also has the courage to call foul on complaining, people who are complaining and negative and glass half empty and saying, stop and leading through it by having a different conversation, by sitting down with that person, perhaps allowing them to vent, and by holding them accountable for their own behavior. This is a leadership moment. Additionally, leadership moment, and this one can be so hard for people, and it's so much who we are as just human beings. When you're vulnerable yourself, people feel that now you're approachable and they're more willing and, and frankly, they're likely going to listen to what you have to say and they're going to feed off of your leadership energy. In other words, your vulnerability becomes your strength and now something great happens. The people that you are leading see you as real, not some title, some person on the org chart. They see you as real. They see you as identifiable and they see you as approachable. And the listening channels open up. Uh, I said a moment ago, a leadership moment absolutely means holding people accountable. You know what? There is going always going to be bad behavior and things that we say that shouldn't have happened, that's wrong, or we roll our eyes. You now have a choice. You have a moment to lead through that and say no, or yes, you did well, or no, you're not going to do that, or something along those lines, or ignore it. So write this down. The leadership moment is not something that we ignore and hope that it'll go away. Or, you know, I'm so busy, I'll deal with this another time. But by the time you get back to it, guess what? 
It's past. You can't go back to it. So leadership moments literally mean, as I said a moment ago, that moment in time. This is a big deal. And understanding what's coming down the road is a leadership moment. Understanding what the future could look like. And sometimes that's something at a very discrete, finite level. And sometimes it's a big strategic thing. It doesn't matter. Leadership moments mean you are seeing opportunity, you are anticipating opportunity and understanding that, you know what? There's always going to be change. People we know don't always like change. It's upsetting. It produces anxiety. Well, the only thing constant is change. Somebody said that, not me. And it's probably one of the truest things out there. There will always be change. Leaders see that, they understand that, and they take the moment to address it before it causes a lot of angst and anxiety. And, you know, often people say, just trust me. I wish my leader, I wish my boss, I wish my supervisor would trust me. Now, whether you do or do not trust somebody, that could always be open to interpretation. But if they think you don't trust them, or if now you have an opportunity after coaching to turn somebody loose and you de demonstrate you trust them, you are letting them know that you trust them, that you trust that they know what to do, and you're verbalizing that, you're conveying that belief, that is a leadership moment. So you see leadership moments are everywhere. And it's also, finally, when we have the opportunity to coach, it's coaching somebody, not telling them what to do. Leaders don't tell. Write that down. So here it is again, because leaders help people be better. They coach up. We manage up. You help people blossom into the best that they can be. You anticipate behavior and you act on it before it becomes a problem. That's another example of a leadership moment. So you know, in the business, ultimately, we're all in sales because we all do something that helps the clients say yes. The clients feel they've made the right decision. And I don't care where you are in the organization, everybody plays a part in that. As you've heard me say, it's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Once that puzzle is all in one piece, all finished, everybody plays a role. All those pieces work together. But if one piece falls out, something breaks. If multiple people pieces fall out, well, then a lot of things are now likely to break. And guess what? The client can't say yes. I don't care what part of the organization you reside in, you're in sales. Well, leaders help people understand that what they do matters and they do this proactively. In other words, and you see when you see somebody doing something right, take a moment and say, that's right. And today, when you did this, we were able to accomplish this over here, or this team was able to accomplish this over there. Or how about, I knew I made a good choice in bringing you on board. Or how about, I trusted you, I believed in my trust, and I believe in you. You know, when people know that they're trusted to do the right thing, or we do, or we simply acknowledge that they've done the right thing, here's a secret. They do it over and over and over again. Holy moly, did you ever think about such a crazy thing? All right, so I'm being a little, little lighthearted about it. The reality of it is clients can't say yes without the combined aggregate and collaborative effort of lots of people. Leaders understand that, and they never miss the opportunity to point out how what somebody did, does, will do, matters enormously matters. So I've said this before, and it bears repeating. In fact, you know, you have to hear things sometimes three to seven times before we actually begin to change our behavior. So you may hear me repeat things. It's why I always say, write this down. Your leadership moment is seizing the moment and being proactive, not letting it pass you by. So, you know, the organization will reach over time and every day and as we go forward, multiple inflection points 
as you change, grow, and expand. Now, an inflection point is where the future is about to change or the future is about to become the present. And, you know, sustained growth, it relies, it depends, it demands on people just like you seeing and taking advantage of those leadership moments and running with them, period. As I said a moment ago, change is constant. It will always be there. Because if it wasn't, we'd become complacent. And then the silos go back up. And uh-oh, the entire organization is now in jeopardy. So that inflection point, well, you have to see it. Leaders see it. And that's the point where the future is now going to become the present. An inflection point is where we have to make a decision, which, which is going to cause change. It's going to create growth. It's going to create expansion. Or maybe not. Inflection points are everywhere and they're every day. Now, you can do what I'm suggesting, or you can just walk away. And by the way, walking away sometimes means I'll get to it later, or I'll put that email over here, or you didn't put up the boundaries so that you could deal and give an, and have an opportunity to take advantage of that leadership moment. Well, you can't call yourself a leader if you walk away from the leadership moment. Now, seeing that leadership moment, spotting it, identifying it, it requires that you're aware of what's going on. You have self-awareness, and there's that word again, you're proactive. Hey, does this take energy? Oh, yeah. You can't drift through your day, and nobody who's listening right now does. You're committed, dedicated, passionate professionals inside this organization. Now, the demands on us throughout the day can wear us out, can exhaust us. I get it. Believe me, I understand that. And that doesn't mean that we can allow ourselves to become reactive and miss those leadership moments. What it does mean is that when you know you're having a day when you're just getting worn down and it's just the day is just taking its toll or the week or the month, be self-aware enough to know, I saw a leadership moment and I'm not going to ignore it. Maybe you say to somebody, I just saw you do something. It was phenomenal. And you have a 30 second conversation as opposed to maybe something more extensive. Or you make yourself a note, you write it down, and you put it in your calendar. Make sure you engage with so-and-so to remark or remember or reminisce or talk about what you saw, that leadership moment that you saw. Leadership moments, as I said, they're constant and they're everywhere. And they're your obligation to take and to act on. Because if we walk away from those leadership moments, and sometimes we do it without realizing it, we stay in silos. We cannot stay in silos. Silos kill organizations, and they impact the client. The customer gets it. The client gets it. Your vendors feel it. And then they say, yeah, what am I doing here? So everything I'm saying depends on you taking that deep breath, opening up those listening channels, being observant, being aware of how you're showing up, how you're feeling, and identifying opportunities to show people how what they do matters. Nothing, and I mean nothing, is better than that. So, you know, I've alluded to this already. Handling the leadership moment, well, it's a choice. There's no question about it. It is a choice. So you can lead, and many of you do, all of you do, and sometimes you don't even realize that we're in that leadership moment, or the opposite of leading is reacting, pointing to fingers, and getting defensive. Well, I don't need to tell you, that's not productive. Sometimes we have to breathe, walk away, and come back another day. There's a difference between being self-aware enough to know when you are emotionally and mentally ready to deal with the situation at hand and when you're just not. And that's okay because we're talking about the fact that as long as we see the leadership moment, we still have to make that choice. Grabbing that leadership moment sometimes takes courage because it's not always a positive thing. Sometimes we have to say, look, 
uh, I, what you're doing right now is harmful to us and it's harmful to you. So as I said a few moments ago, taking the leadership moment means dealing with addressing all kinds of situations and behaviors. It's still a leadership moment to deal with something. And sometimes we have to be careful because a very laissez-faire or hands-off management style, well, guess what? We will miss the leadership moments. And then your team, your staff, other people potentially in the silos wonder what's going on. They're in a vacuum. There's no communication. And they think, am I doing the right? You know what? I'm just going to quit. And that's how quickly it can happen. And we don't want to lose great people. You know, one of my favorite words and one of my favorite expressions is don't abdicate the moment. Don't give up the moment when it's right there in front of you. That's the choice I'm talking about. The opposite of taking or acting on that leadership moment, well, is just that. It's abdicating that, abdicate, abdicating, abdicating that opportunity to move the business forward, move the organization forward, move everything forward. Most importantly, move the people forward. Remember what I said earlier, taking that leadership moment helps three constituencies, right? It's the people, the organization, and the client. It's that Venn diagram that brings everything together. The leadership moment, well, it involves how present we can be. And we're going to be talking about this down the road, the power of presence and how we show up. So, you know, there, there's a lot of Oh, gosh, there's a little, so many definitions on leadership out there. And there's so many people have so many things to say. I'm trying to find the best that I can offer you in a condensed version so that we can just distill it down to what leaders do. Well, you've heard me say many times leaders take the leadership moment. They see it. They act on it. They seize the moment, as it were. When we do this, we really do three things. We provide stability and people need stability, especially when there's change. You know, you can provide stability in the midst of change by how you behave, by how you lead, by how you are proactive and not reactive. That's another form of the leadership moment. You provide purpose and direction. People want purpose. In fact, soon you'll hear me talk about the culture of purpose. People want that. They want to know that what they're doing has greater good. And believe it or not, people want direction. I know that's not that big of a stretch of the imagination, and they do. People crave and desire purpose and direction and stability. And candidly, taking a leadership moment, acting on those leadership moment, leaders define their priorities. You set the stage for what you consider to be the things, the actions, the behaviors, the mindsets that bring the organization forward and rocket it to greater, 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 greater places. And that's all up to us seeing proactively that leadership moment. So, you know, the future of the organization, the future of any organization, it depends on this. It literally relies on the people of the organization holding others and yourselves accountable to see the leadership moment, holding yourselves out there to see it and showing and leading other people to do the same thing, knowing that taking that leadership moment, be it for a positive reason or perhaps uh, a challenging or corrective reason, doesn't matter. It's good to do that. And it's good to know that your people have your trust and vice versa. When we have the mindset of the leadership moment, it has a, a powerful impact on the overall security and growth of the organization. The one thing I know about this organization is that everybody wants it to be sustainable and grow and be there forever. Well, the building will be there. The question is, will we be taking the leadership moments to ensure that? So the critical question I have for you, 
And this is one that, you know, we have to really look inside our souls and our gut and our hearts. Do we lead or are we following? Are we taking, seeing, identifying the leadership moment? Are we speaking up and taking sometimes the hard road, the road less traveled, the road slightly less popular, the road that may not win you friends, but it will advance the organization and it will advance people? Or are we following, going with the crowd, shrinking away from that leadership moment? I challenge each one of you to look inside yourselves and think about, are you leading or are you following? Sometimes we do a little bit of each and the scale of eventually, the scale has to start weighing much more heavily toward leading. We simply don't have a choice. You know, if everybody, starting with just this team right here, if everybody took leadership moments, saw them, acted on them, the aggregate effect, think about this, the aggregate effect of that, the aggregate effect of everybody proactively and consistently taking on, seeing, believing in, having the mindset of attacking those leadership moments. Oh man, the downstream impact is profound. You become an organization easier to do business with. You'll have happier, more productive people. You'll retain people. You'll attract people. Your clients will be that much more happy and stable and satisfied. And you guarantee the success, the future downroad success of the organization. You see, you can't wait for someone else to lead can't do it. You cannot wait for somebody else to take that initiative. So this is my final thought to you when I talk about and I share with you the concept, the idea of the leadership moment. Lead or get run over. Lead or get run by. Let that sink in. I'm Todd Cohen. Thank you for listening to this short video on taking, identifying, embracing the leadership moment. I'll see you soon. Now, don't tell anybody, but I've got to look around very, very coolly. See, I'm, my eyes are down and I got to find the off button because I haven't quite mastered how to do that yet. You see, that's a leadership moment knowing then I got to find that off button. All right, everybody, go back to work. We'll see you soon and go grab that leadership moment. Take care.